I want to welcome you back to Black Sight tonight. We're going to talk about Black Lives Matter buying a $6 million mansion in California. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. Black Lives Matter has done it again. Over the past year, they have been caught buying houses all over the country. This organization was started after the death of Mike Brown, and they have received funds off the backs of dead black men who were killed by the police. They say they have received $90 million in donations, but people can't find out where all the money went. And it seemed like they went to some of these mansions in California and even in Canada. But I would like to ask a simple question. Do we really know how much money this organization received? You remember at the height of George Floyd, there were millions of dollars being thrown at Black Lives Matter. And I believe if you counted them, it was more than $90 million. I truly believe Black Lives Matter was nothing but a scam derived from George Soros in outside organizations to get money to fund the LGBT community and the trans community. But they also did something on the side. They also helped fund the Democrat Party. And why I say that is because if you noticed after Joe Biden got elected, you have heard nothing from Black Lives Matter. What happened to Patrice Cullors, who was running the organization, or any other member of the organization? They have all resigned. You can't find them. I don't think there's an address for Black Lives Matter. This was a scam from the get-go. It ran its course. People like Patrice Cullors and her other two fellow cohorts became millionaires off this organization, but they also used black men's bodies in the protests of 2020 to help Joe Biden get elected. Because if you notice after Joe Biden got elected, what happened to the protests? There's still not any cops being killed, killing black men. There's still no police brutality going on right now. This could have been, this was, excuse me, the biggest scam in American political history. And it was run on the black community. Where's the IRS? Where's state IRS agents to find out what this organization did with the money? And let me tell you something. Nobody has brought this organization to justice. You've seen Mike Brown's father. You've seen other parents of dead children who were killed by the police saying that Black Lives Matter never gave them not one dollar in help. And I will always say this. This is nothing but the black man dead industrial complex with so many of these other people around the country get involved so they could get millions of dollars off the backs of dead black men. These women couldn't care less because how could you follow women who are known lesbians who have truly have no love for black men other than using them to get that money. Nobody, I repeat, nobody has been held accountable. And I want you to look at what your money went to. Look at this house. Bought by the Black Lives Matter Global Foundation. This is what $6 million was spent on. It wasn't spent on the local Black Lives Ladder organization. No, this is what they spent it on. 
and you think they're actually in control of this? This is what was going on with Black Lives Matter. Black Joy Creators Fellowship. This is your money. So you can't trust most of the people when you send your money in to one of these so-called civil rights organizations and you try to look at what have they actually done other than give you a catchy slogan. But they got rich off them bodies. And we just go on to the next page instead of saying, hey, this has to stop. And it needs to stop right now. Look at this mansion. Instead of going to local organizations so they can have enough money locally to fight for the people. Patrice Colors is still walking the streets of America. This is what's going on. Nothing. Look at him. Living good, man. Living good off the backs of black men. Alicia Garza, Melinda Abdul, all of these people. Hell, I bet you they got servants in the damn house. You know, I would love to hear many of you comment on Black Lives Matter. Because I would love to see the members of this organization arrested. Arrested for being scam artists. Arrested for leading the black community down a hole. But this is what they were used for. And we have so many others who are paid to basically get us to the polls, vote Democrat, and you never hear of them again. I bet you if you looked at each one of their tax returns, Alicia Garza, Patrice Collars, I bet you they're millionaires right now. When they started off this organization as Marxists, they had very little or no money, but they got plenty of money right now. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button and also share this video.